Hello and welcome back to SketchUp Assist. Today we're looking at the tool dimensions. So if you go to the tool drop down, select dimensions. Um, we're going to go into dimension mode. You'll notice when you hit an endpoint, you get a green dot. You come across to an, another endpoint, you get another green dot, and you can pull off of that an, a dimension. You can actually pull it in you know different directions. So you, you can you can align it to fit your needs. And so let's go ahead and pull a couple of dimensions here and look at some other options we have with dimensions. Uh, so we can quickly come in here and lay out all the dimensions for our drawings. So if we're going to print this out or share it with someone, uh, they'll be able to see those measurements. Uh, now, if you as you rotate these around, you'll notice that you get some, some overlap. Um, and so there is a way to uh, adjust those. So if you uh, go into select them, go into move mode, uh, you can then uh, slide those around to different orientations. So let's say I want to maybe move that one back in a little closer because this is the view I want. Um, again, select, hit M to go into move mode. Uh, and you can just simply adjust those. Now, the other thing you're going to notice here is that uh, the fonts, so the default fonts may or may not work for you. So you'll need to experiment with those. And the way that you experiment with those fonts is if you come into Windows, Model Info, uh, the model info uh, pop up here. You're going to see the dimensions selection and you're going to see here that you can select the fonts. Uh, so let's click on fonts. Um, I'm not going to change the family or the collection. Let's just do like a quick check with the typeface and maybe change the font size. Okay, so after making these change, this change to the font, you'll notice that nothing, nothing happened here. Uh, if we want to actually update those, we need to select them and apply the update. Now, if you have a lot of these, that could be quite painful. Fortunately, there is the uh, button here uh, that allows you to select all dimensions. So it will select all dimensions in your uh, current project here. Uh, and then you can update all of those with one click. And then the other thing you'll notice is that going forward, as you add more dimensions, oops, there we go, uh, that they will now come out with the... Um, uh, with the new font settings. Now, the other thing we're going to look at is the orientation. So as you orbit, uh, rotate your your geometry, you'll notice that the uh, numbers stay parallel to your field of view. So they stay in line with your field of view. Uh, you can adjust that. You can come into uh, a line dimension, I'm sorry, a line to dimension line, uh, which as you might guess already is going to lock that number that measure into that into that line now notice that i selected this i still need to apply it so notice they're still staying in my field of view uh, however if i select one and i update that selected dimension actually let's do centered it just looks a little better let's update that now as i rotate my other stay in line but the one that i updated now stays aligned to the dimension. Now, if, again, if I want to do all of these, I can simply come in, select it. I've got my aligned to dimension line centered, update those dimensions, and, and now they are all oriented in line with the uh, dimension or aligned with the dimension. And you can experiment with this and, and figure out what you need. As, it, as we just looked at, you can come in and preferentially select things uh, to... Uh, modify them as you need so maybe some manual work here if you have a complicated drawing where you have um, several dimensions that you want to show up um, from a given view uh, but you have a fair amount of flexibility uh, the last thing I want to just call out is that um, when you're doing dimensions um, these have to be done from an endpoint and so what I mean by that is just try to get two parallel lines here just for the fun of it. Um, if I come back in here and I try to pull off, for example, I want a dimension across here, I'm not going to be able to do it. I have to have an endpoint uh, to, um, to do that. And then again, I can come in and adjust that. So you'll notice this one's a little, a little funky on the font. So we might want to shrink this one back down some to get it. Now, if I really was heart set on getting a measure across here, you'd have to play some some little trick like this. And this may not be something that you want to do. 
But if I create those endpoints now and I come back to dimensions, I can now pull from, from these two points and get a dimension in the position I want. As long as I don't delete it before I finish it. Let's try one more time. And we can pull this up. Again, if we want to make some adjustments to the font, we can do that. Okay. Um, now, if you... If you remove that, uh, you will keep your dimensions there. Uh, and so that is a quick trick that you can use if you want to, um, if you want to get some measures across uh, places that don't have an endpoint there. And uh, that is it in a nutshell. Uh, that's what you need to know for dimensions. Um, good luck, have fun, and if you're enjoying the channel, please subscribe.